Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev walking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had caught a few more Pokemon, defeated a few more trainers, and on the last trip back to Pewter City, picked up Pikachu's Poke Package. Now this guy is a super nerd. He has two new Pokemon we have not seen yet. So, how about we take a look at him right now? This is Magnemite. It's an electric type that can evolve into Magneton at level 30. By the time we meet it, the only attack it's going to have is Tackle, and that's it. This is no threat at all. Voltorb is an electric type that can evolve into Electrode at level 33. Now, by the time we meet it, the only abilities it's going to have are Tackle and Screech, both of which are learned at level 1. Now, at the levels this guy has his Pokémon at, they're not going to be that much of a threat, but my Pokemon, our Pokemon, are definitely not going to really have an easy time with it. I'm going to see if Quick Attack will actually work on uh, Magnemite, but I really wouldn't trust it. Um, honestly, I think the best shot that we can have is to switch out for Butterfree and just kind of hope. Um, Butterfree's Confusion should do better than uh, Pikachu's, well, anything for that matter. Um... These are going to be electric types, and Pikachu is pretty well just along for the ride here. I hate that idea, but, I mean, that it is what it is. Pidgey may have an easier time than, than Pikachu, but I think that uh, Butterfree is still the best shot. Okay, Voltorb is confused, which is absolutely perfect. Hurt itself in the confusion, we have won, and we are finished with it. Ash defeated Super Nerd. Your Pokemon won't, Pokemon won't do? No, they won't. Have to find? Yes, you do. Well, in here, you're not going to find many of the type you're looking for. Now, Ash found a potion, which is brilliant. We can always use that. And right around here is just some random fight before we get to the Bug Catcher. Go through the cave to get to Cerulean, you got it. And now this Bug Catcher has got a few different types. Well, a few different bugs. First off is a level 10 Caterpie. As you can see, Thundershock may not be the greatest choice for it. And after this fight, I'm actually going to switch in to Pidgey and let Pidgey raise some levels as well. You know what? I even think I'm going to do that right now, and that way, Pidgey will get the lion's share of the experience for all of what we're about to face with this guy. So, a string shot, I'm not too worried about that. That's perfectly fine. Gust will take this one out. And a level 10 Caterpie down. Metapod is no threat at all, so quick attack. Let's see what you can do. Now it's a good start. And I'm just going to rely on quick attack. Well, no, I guess I'm not. I guess I'm going to switch back to Gust and see if it will do more damage. Now it doesn't really seem to, but that's okay. One more shot and Metapod will be down. So, come on. There we go. And Pidgey grew to level 13. Always good. And Caterpie is going to go down just like the last one. Well, without the electrical burns. This one's totally going to be Pidgey. Oh, so very close. And one more quick attack. The Caterpie is down. Yes, you lost. So what do you have to say for yourself? Zubat's tough, but it can be useful if you catch one? Well, yeah, but you know what? We're actually not going to use ours. Now, right here is a rare candy, which will increase the levels of whatever level, one level of whatever Pokemon you use it on. Escape Rope, surprisingly enough, does exactly what you think it would. And up we go, through one more useless Zubat battle that had Pikachu grow to level 13. Now, this young lass has got two new Pokemon we haven't seen before. She has an Oddish and a Bellsprout. And here they are. Oddish is a grass and poison type, which evolves into Gloom at level 21. Now, we meet it early on enough, 
that it has absorb and nothing else. So my suggestion would be if you have a flying type, then use that. Absorb, for whatever reason, just does not work very, very well against anything with wings. Bellsprout is a grass and poison type that evolves into Weepin' Bell at level 21. Now, by level 13, it learns Wrap, but by the point we meet it, the only attacks it has are Vine Whip and Growth, so fortunately, it is not a threat yet. So what do you have to say? Bigger in here than you thought? Well, it's just because it's dark. Everything seems bigger in the dark. Okay, so like I've said, Lass sends out Oddish. It's level 11. And I switched up uh, Pokemon order, so we have Pidgey in the front. And I'm just going to let Pidgey take out both of them. It's probably the best bet, since Absorb is really not so effective against Pidgey. It doesn't do that much damage, and um, Pidgey should be able to take out Oddish very, very quickly. Three, maybe four attacks. And so that's number three. That's what I figured. Very, very close. And one more gust, and Oddish is down. And Pidgey grew to level 14. Bellsprout will go down the exact same way. Always good. Now, Bellsprout, for whatever reason, seems to use growth and nothing else. Oh, well. I spoke too soon, I guess. But you know, that's okay, because it's gone now, too. And Ash defeated Lass. You lost it. Yes, you did. Uh, it's dark. You're going to have to feel your way out. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll be coming back out of here in a few minutes. So you can just follow me if you want. Now, this trainer right here has got two Ratata and one... Uh, Zubat, and all three of them are level 10. Did I come to explore? Um, no, I came to get through to the other side. Okay, so Ratata is first. Still no real threat. I'm just going to have Pidgey use Quick Attack. And hopefully that should do pretty well. If we need to switch out Pokemon, we can, but for now, I think we're actually okay. Sends out another level 10 rat, and that's fine with me. Uses tackle, that's great, it'll do less damage than his quick attack. And now comes the fun part. So Pidgey grows to level 15, and um, Zubat's attacks don't really do all that much damage to Pidgey. So, if that, that being the case, we can just have uh, Pidgey attack it, wipe it out, and we are done. So Ash defeated Youngster. Losing stinks, yes it does, but you know, you've gotten very good at it. Came down here to show off to girls, so let me get this straight. You came to a cave to show off to girls. Yeah, you may want to rethink your plan. I think, I think, I think you've got a few things just a little bit backward. Okay, so... Oh. But let's grab this. A uh, Moonstone. Wonderful. Now we have one of our very own. So, what have you got? Now, this guy's a hiker who has nothing new. Just a kid. I shocked you. You're sitting here in the dark and I shocked you. Okay, he has three Pokemon. All three are level 10. Two of them are Geodude. And one is an Onix. So, now, this is... Very similar to the battle we had with Gary, or with uh, Brock, excuse me. So, absolutely nothing new. Use the exact same um, move set. So, just sit back on confusion and let it all happen. And ultimately, Butterfree is going to gain all the experience for the whole thing. But that's okay. That's that's one of the reasons I like having Butterfree here. Is occasionally we're going to run into Geodude, and it's uh, hard enough for uh, Pidgey to beat Geodude. There's no possible way that uh, Pikachu can do it at the levels that it is at. So I mean, ultimately, we really do need Butterfree here. 
And Butterfree grew to level 16. Well, that's great. Like I said, I'd really like all the Pokemon to have level 20 by the time we get out of here. Kids like you shouldn't be here. Uh, I just beat you pretty soundly. That's okay. Whatever. Now, the, the ladder that he was guarding is really the one we want to go down. So what I'm going to do is just hit all the other ladders first. Which I think ultimately is a good idea. I mean, we're going to end up getting everything anyway, so we might as well try to do it in as few trips as possible. TM01. That's Mega Punch. And it can actually be pretty good. Again, I'm not going to use it, but you never know. If you, if you really want to, go right ahead. You're pulling a big job here. Well, who are you? I bet I know. Oh yeah, I know. This is the introduction of Team Rocket. And Rocket sends out Zubat. Zubat is the highest level we've found so far, but you know what? I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. Now, sure, it'll probably have Supersonic. Unfortunately, it's not going to get the chance to use it. A second Thundershock, and it goes down very quickly. And Pikachu grows to level 14. Rocket sends out Ekans. Now comes the issue, because we know that Thundershock does not really work too well. But you know what may? What may is Thunder Wave. Yep. Which is perfect. Now I'm going to try Thundershock again. Oh, that doesn't help me at all. Oh, I dislike that. I totally dislike that. Like, more so than you have any idea of. That's okay, though. We'll, we'll fix it. But, oh boy, I'm not happy with that. Oh boy. Give it to you and scram, you got it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to... Oh boy. Okay, well, I'm going to grab this. Because it's there. Now what I will do is I am going to use a potion when I need to to get Pikachu back to the um, Poke Center without fainting. It is not going to be easy, but it definitely can be done. So I will see you right back here. And you know what? In saying that, it stopped being fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just to be sure, let's go in and we'll give Pikachu that potion. There we go. Now, everything should be fine from this point out. But it is one of those just-to-be-sure things. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll be okay. See, every time it, the screen flashes, Pikachu is losing one HP. So with that big fright out of the way, it is time to say that's enough for this episode. With Team Rocket now actually becoming the biggest threat we have, which I guess they should, just like the animated series. Um, will we catch the remaining wild Pokémon we have in Mount Moon? Will we finally finish Floor 2 and 3 of Mount Moon? Can we finish with all of the other random trainers? And finally make our way to Cerulean City? Only time will tell. This has been Rev, walking you through Pokémon Special Pikachu Edition. Thanks for watching. Next time.